Hello, today we're going to learn about the world map. I'm going to teach you how we do the continents. There are seven continents in the world. We start off with a globe. This is a model of the world. The globe is round and there are seven continents in the, on this globe. We start off by singing a wonderful song that you're going to enjoy and I'm going to sing it for you. These are the continents, these are the continents, these are the continents of the world. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia, don't forget Antarctica. These are the continents, these are the continents, these are the continents of the world. The children love to learn when they sing. So they love to learn the song first, the continent song. Once they know the continent song, then we move on to the actual world map, where we actually now show the children how many continents there are. And they, they now this is where we start using our senses. I'm going to look for North America. So I'm going to use my fingers. This is North America. So we have North America, South America. Then I'd ask my children, what continent is this? And they should say North America. And this one is South America. So once they know that, then we move on to the next one. We are looking at the largest continent, and the largest continent is Asia. Asia is our largest continent. Asia is the largest continent. And then we have Europe. Europe is the next continent. Now we have North America, South America, Europe, Asia. Then we get the other continent which is Africa. If you look at the continent of Africa, it is shaped like an elephant's ear. So we put the continent of Africa down. And the smallest continent is Australia. Australia is our smallest continent. And then we have the last continent, which is Antarctica. Antarctica. So this is the world map. The world map is of seven continents, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia, and don't forget Antarctica. Then we have an extension. Once the students know all the continents of the world, we allow them to color in the continent paper and we give them a control sheet. This is the control sheet that they can use as a guide and it shows them the different colors of the continent. And we have a continent sheet that they can color in and this will help them. I hope this presentation was useful for you, to you and you could use it to teach your students about the world map.